Hello guys, welcome back to the video. My room's a mess right now because I'm trying to get everything cleaned up. I've been busy outside all day. It's hot. I'm tired. So today, uh, I'll be getting this cleaned up after the, after the video. Just, um, it's been cleaned up a little bit as you can probably tell, but, um, never mind about that. Today we're trying some Queso Blanco, okay? Some, uh, Dollar General with cheese dip, you know? And I'll be trying it with some extra cheesy cheese its It's open, but here's the idea. Not tried. Don't, don't believe me? Not even opened. And we're going to be trying a classic with these with this cheese too. Uh, some classic Pringles. I've, I've already tried these. Not on camera, but um, everyone's had these before, so I don't need to review these. If you, if you haven't had these, try them. They're really good. So without further ado guys, let's, tr let's go ahead and get into the review. We're, we're, we're going to start with this first, try it, and then we'll put the cheese onto it. So, it smells really cheesy. Mmm. All right, and the calories. Um, these have a softer crunch in these. They're very good. I like them. Um, it's even soft, softer than the buffalo wing one that I tried. Um, you don't, you don't, you don't get much in this one, but, um, yeah. I mean, you get what you pay for. Um, this, uh, this is, serving size is one fourth of a cup. 80 calories, sort of fat 6 grams, you know. So, go ahead and, uh, ooh, my. Okay, now we're going to go ahead, and, oh, this is an extra cheesy one, this one has, actually has extra cheese on it. Oh my gosh. Mmm. That is really good. Oh my gosh. Holy. Mmm. That tastes like the Mexican style of Croatia Blanco. That is really delicious. Oh my gosh. That's not one would taste with the cheese, it's man. Yep. Also, in case you guys are wondering, I'm looking into, inside the cheese, and it has nothing inside of it. It's just all white. So, in case you guys are wondering about that, why well, my yeah, can't, can't camera go down? Um, yeah, my camera's going down, guys. If you guys can't tell, hold up. Let me, let me get this thing fixed. Fixed. Give me one second, second here, guys. I think we should be good now. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and back this back up. And now we're gonna get the Pringles out, guys. We're gonna try with, out with the Pringles, and we're gonna see how these taste. Okay. Ooh, I love ranch, but I don't know how it's gonna taste with the queso, cause you know it's not Mexican, but it's chips, and you know chips and cheese always go together. So, um, and get a little bit on the chip. Ooh. Not quite that good. Hmm. The ranch and that does not really go together. It's kind of, it's kind of gross. I gotta give me a drink. I can't even back down. Well, guys. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you enjoyed me, please make sure and smash that like button. Also. Um, Cheez-Its, I give the ranking from 1 out of 20, 
I give it a 10 because these are pretty good. And with the cheese, uh, with the Queso Blanco, oh, that's really delicious. I give this, together mixed, I give this about, that makes it up to 11. But trying it by, <coughs> man, trying it by itself, I give it about a 7.8. It's pretty good if you guys haven't had this. And again, it's something in pizza that you're supposed to put it on enchiladas with a little bit of cilantro on it. But again, there's something in the side of the cheese, if you guys can tell. Um, and with all that being said, guys, the Pringles, like always, even though we've tried these, I give these about a, uh, about a 6.9. And with mixed with the cheese, as you guys probably saw my reaction, it wasn't that great. So, about a 3.2 for that. Mm. But, it's because this, this is ranch. If you use sour cream and onion, or you have original, or maybe some cheddar Pringles or whatever, this might be good with that cheese, but if you get these, uh, I would recommend that cheese with it though. But yeah, I hope you enjoy the video, and thanks for watching.